We're here to talk the latest Detroit Lions news and rumors for you folks today. We're going to go over the latest that I've seen so far here on this good Friday. Folks, make sure you guys have a great weekend. Enjoy it with the family. Starting to get a little warmer here in West Michigan. Sunday's Easter. Today's Good Friday. Enjoy it with the family and have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let's get into this video here. We're going to be talking about, again, the latest news. It's going to be a lot of draft stuff. There's a little bit of free agency there. Power rankings, Dan Campbell speaking, and Vegas odds. Let's get this intro going so we can start talking Lions. Right here, folks. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Trying to get to 10,000. We're a little over 100 away. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And um, that's what it's all about. Let's get in the start in this bad boy. We're going to start with the Detroit Lions uniforms in three weeks. I know a lot of people are excited. I am excited myself. Wanting to know what type of uniform they're going to get. April. 18 is when it comes out. Will they go old school with the uniform like the 90s? Will they go super old school like they did with the helmet last year? I really like the helmet. I really, really do. I love those that blue color right there. I'd love for the Lions maybe to do something with that. You hear about the black uniforms. And I do like the old 90s as well. I'm super excited. Hopefully they put up a good uniform for their alternates right there. Match the helmet. I love that helmet, so super excited. I don't think it's going to be a crazy big change. We're just talking about the alternates there, but it should be really, really fun, and probably they'll play it a couple times this up-and-coming season, and we like looking at that uh, uni. So let me know in the comments section, what color do you want the unis? Do you want the old blacks? Do you want the old 90s? Do you want the, like, the 57s? Whatever you want, let me know in the comments below. Campbell likes the current quarterback room, but could still add competition. This is a given here, folks. Really don't need to spend a lot of time on this. Um, it's clear as day that the Detroit Lions need help at that corner position. And they can do it in free agency. They could do it in the draft. They could do free agency and the draft. But we're still in, technically in free agency here for a while. All the way till the end of the season. Just a big part of free agency is over. You could do like a Vildor for a veteran to come in here and be part of this team. They can draft a guy significantly early with 29th pick or throughout the NFL draft. But the cornerback room needs to get upgraded. The loss of Cam Sutton from a technical standpoint, I don't think it's that big of a deal because he didn't play well, but he did understand the system and he is a veteran and he is a body who did start for the Lions. So... You've got to be able to cover for that. And we'll see how it goes in the draft. If they don't get a good one in the draft, which I suspect they will, maybe they go and get Stephon Gilmore or some of that, someone of that ilk to help the Lions out before this NFL season. Because I don't I don't think we need to go crazy here when it comes to the cornerback position in free agency. Draft a guy, develop it. That's the best way to go, in my opinion, right now. Because you're only going to get hole fillers, at least for, for right now, in free agency. We want to get this cornerback position, get a young guy to groom in there so he could be a stable for the Lions defense for the next 10, 15 years. That's what we're kind of looking for here. But if they get a veteran, I'm not going to be upset at all. I'm not going to be upset. You know, We do need veteran help, specifically in the secondary. You lost C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who's a vocal leader. Cam Sutton who is not necessarily the most vocal leader, but he was a veteran a lot of people respected. So you got to cover for that for the Lions secondary. Let's go to the draft, though. And there's there's plenty of corners in this year's draft. Plenty of good ones in this draft. The Lions could trade up. They could trade down. They could stay at 29 tick corner. We don't really know, but there's a, there's a lot of talent out there that the Lions can get better. And uh, I, I still think it's the draft. I you know, me and you guys may disagree with me. I think it's the drafters where they got to go and get these positions that we need filled, filled with some young, young talent, and go from there. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to do here in the NFL draft. Man, I'm really excited for the NFL draft because 
we just want to see what our roster is. We want to see what this is going to look like in this year, and we're so close to, you know, making the Super Bowl last year. Want to make it this year. Want to make it this year. And that's the bottom line here. Let's get into this next one here. Vegas win total for the Detroit Lions is at 9.5. I, ag- I agree with uh, Ryan Matthews here for Detroit. I think that's a perfect spot for it. Um, I think the Lions will. I'm saying 11 wins just, just right now. 11 wins. Not because we're a worse team. I think we're a better team. It's just that the NFC North got better and our schedule's a little bit more difficult with the teams that we're facing. So I actually think the team will be better, but they could actually have one loss worse than last year because the competition is higher. Chicago Bears are, are a better football team. They got a great defense, a really good defense. We don't know what's going on with the Minnesota Vikings. The Green Bay Packers are a legit threat for the NFC North. So I'm going to agree with Vegas here, 9.5. I'll take the over. I suggest you all take the over if you're to do. You're a betting person. Do it right now, man. Go ahead and... and uh, Put in the money, they'll get. I think they'll definitely get more nine and a half. They'll, they'll get more. They're a much better team than nine and a half. So I love this line. If you're a better, this is for you. And look, I'm on the channel. There, there is no sponsors for this video. None of that. My sponsors is myself, Herm, and Chrissy. But I'm gonna tell you right now, bet the over. If you're a betting person, they're gonna get more than nine and a half wins. The easy way to make some money. That is the way to do it. And. That's good. I wonder wonder how it changes through. Because like if you look at last year, the Lions were, or, or two years ago, they were never favored. We always beat it. Last year, we were always beating the line. And guess, I think we're going to beat the line again. That's just the way that it is. We, we beat the line there. Lions number two in the NFL post-free agency power rankings. Wow, I, I like it. I agree. And, and if... I'm not being a homer here. I think the Lions are the best team right now in the NFC. Now, people are going to say, oh, the 49ers, and I totally understand. I think the Lions are better than the 49ers right now. I think they are. I think we're a better football team. They lost quite a bit, and, you know, they lost some good players. I think the, in the Lions, they should have beat them in the, the championship game. So ESPN's got us two. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Athletics says three. It says three. That's like there's. That's fine. Here the power rankings is fourth for Sporting News, fourth the Pro Football Network, NFL.com, fourth. Touchdown Wires got the Lions at six. So I I agree between two through four. Six a little bit off for me. Um, I think they're <laughs> one of the best teams in football. I do think the Ravens are a good team. They're stacked. They are stacked. They they did get worse though. They did get worse, but they do. They're a great team that drafts, so um, they're still going to be good. Kansas City, they're they're good. They're a good football team, and I I suspect they're going to get better with the wide receivers because that was their their issue last year, and they still won a Super Bowl. And the 49ers are good, and the Lions are good. After that, I I, I really do. I you could put them in any way you want to put it, if you want to put like Lions 4, Lions 1, Lions, whatever you want to do, but I think they are the top top four team, and I do think the those four teams kind of separate themselves from the pack a little bit. They do. Um, I Honestly, I put Green Bay above Dallas and the the Philadelphia Eagles. So if we're talking, to, I, I would. I put Green Bay up there, and I got to tell you what, the Atlanta Falcons, they're coming. They are. They got. They got a lot of talent in that team. So they they're probably going to be a little bit higher. But the Detroit Lions roster is amazing. They got a great roster, and it's not just a starter. We're talking about the backups, and this is what happens when you draft well, folks. It's all about the draft. It's not necessarily about free agency, supplement with free agency. It's all about the draft, and the Lions are good. Brad Holmes knows what he's doing. If we get another draft class. Even close to what we did last year, this team is going to be amazing. I mean, Laporta, Gibbs, Jack Campbell, and Branch. That was great, man. That was great. I I, I suspect the Lions are going to come out with a couple starters in this year's draft. I think the first round and the second round, you'll have a starter, and then you'll probably have a kicker that will end up taking the role over Michael Badgley. And then you're going to have the rest be backups. Um, and 
slowly trying to get in there in the roster. Third round pick, just depends where they go. They could go guard or something like that, or or edge, or I don't know. But I, I suspect they'll get three starters from this year's draft. Kicker, one from special teams, and two probably defense. Or maybe they get a wide receiver. I, it's not going to be a starter because St. Brown's number one and J-Mo's uh, number two, but they get plenty of time, not considered a starter, even though you're on the field quite a bit. So love it, love it, love it. Um, John, John Macaron, who I do like a lot, he says that Xavier Halvers solves the Lions' problem at cornerback here. And I would like for the Lions to get Xavier Howard. That would be a nice, nice thing. Again, I think they're probably going to wait for the draft before they make any more free agent moves. Big moves. We're talking starter, not not depth. Depth that it's always going to be going on 24-7, in season and off season. That's never changes. We're talking starters here. So the Lions will probably go in the NFL draft, try to get their corner, and then after that, you can look to veteran help. And some of these veterans are going to wait till after the draft. It's not remember. It's not just the team. The players got to do the right thing for themselves, and so a lot of these guys are just going to wait till after the draft to see what holes teams have, so their value can go up. Say a team missed out on a corner, like the Detroit Lions. I'm just saying, if they did that, if they missed out on that, the value of Xavier Howard probably goes up from him from his perspective because they need more help. Same with any other team. So they're going to wait till after the NFL draft, to really make their move, some of these free agents. And that's that's exactly what they probably should do. And remember, training camp ain't even all the way till late July. So, I mean, they got plenty of time. And some of these guys, they don't need to be in their OTAs and minicamp. So, they'll go ahead and wait a little bit of time and get that done. With that said, folks, 